Nick Rabinovitz, funny though he was, extremely funny though he was, was kind of a known quantity to me. And a particular pleasure about being there last night was being introduced for the first time to the man who warmed up the audience extremely well, heated us up, and then came on at the end of the show and did a couple of lovely songs with with Nick. And that is Mtawelanga Tats Nkonzo, who's on the line to us now. How did you well, like my Mtawelanga? Well done. That was going to be my first comment, actually. Well done on the pronunciation there. <laughs> you see, <Yes. laughs> it's I'm not that impressed. impressive, you know. It's not yeah, that I'm, impressive. I am very, you'd be surprised, John. Like I said last night, I've heard some ridiculous things when it comes to my name. Yeah, welcome to the stage, Mpumalanga and Kwanzaa. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now, you've been around for a while. It was the first time I'd seen you on stage, and I hope that uh, I see you headlining a show soon rather than uh, doing some warm-up. Have you, you, you've been doing it for a couple of years. I have. Um, it's been three years. The opening for Nick has been one of the best things that, have, that has happened to me in my career. Uh, three years in it, I started in a reality TV show. It was like a comedy of for idols, actually. It was like an mm. idol for comedians. And uh, picked up my guitar, went for auditions. It was on SABC One. I am sure you watched it every week. John, am I correct? <laughs> yes. No, I'm sorry. No. I did. <laughs> That's where I started three yeah. years ago. And uh, now I'm in Cape Town opening for Nick, so it's great. What were you doing before that? Before that, I was in advertising. Okay. I uh, I was at the, an advertising agency called the Jupiter Drawing Room. But al- always with a hankering to make people laugh. That was that was always my goal. Mm. And the guitar thing, you said you went to the auditions for this SABC One show with your guitar, which yes. you stole on stage with last night and is a very important part of your right. act. Right, yeah. right. When I, when I started with the guitar thing, it's, it's funny because I got eliminated in the top eight of the competition. And uh, what happened was they called me, the producers called me to be a guest performer in the final of the show. Mm. And that's when I kind of got the idea that maybe I've got something that's a little bit different. And uh, from that moment on, I was like, okay, let's, let's see how we can, we can merge these two worlds together. So uh, what he does, I mean, he does traditional stand-up folks, but every now and then he'll play a song, either some original stuff or he'll take a well-known song and uh, put some satirical South African content into that that well-known song. So it's it's not like you sing funny songs. It's like the guitar is a prop in your act. Not at all. That's been a challenge. I mean, it's taken me literally three years to get that balance right because what I didn't want it to turn into was a musical. Because you can, you can, I can easily get away, get carried away with the music, or the audience can get carried away with, oh wow, he can play and he can sing, and then it turns into like this softer kind of musical show. Mm. So I've gone from let's get rid of the guitar to let you half the act with the guitar, put the guitar down and do straight stand up. So I've I've had to navigate my way through that, and it's literally taken me three years to get that balance right where people don't just say, oh, you sing so well. But they can also say, and you're very funny. You sing so you know, well. For, for a comedian, that's the best compliment. Outside well, of everything yeah. else, it's you are funny. You are funny and yeah. you sing so well. I'm Tawelanga Tatsun Gonzo.